Aloha everyone, my name is Mark Tolliver and I am a life coach, a business coach, and leadership coach associated with Life Creations Education, which is a coaching company in Carlsbad, California. And I'm actually here in Maui, so aloha. And thank you so much for tapping in. And if this is your first time tapping in, this is perfect. This is a two-part series video, so I do invite you to watch the first when you have a chance, but no need right now because this is right where you need to be and probably the words you need to hear. So I invite you to stay. And the ones that have been following me, we have been talking about money with intention and where our intentions are leading us and where it goes into prosperity and prosperity can um, although we're talking about money it can also be a fulfillment of a goal it could be what you get out of that and ful fulfillment of an intention that you set and it's actually the process that is churning that creates that intention to get that prosperity, be it financial or be it even a good feeling or something that you want to attain. And that's what we're talking about because when you set an intention, you create the action and then you're trying to get the reaction. And we're also talking about universal law. What is universal law? Well, it's kind of like Isaac Newton's theory of when he's sitting under an apple tree and an apple falls and bops him on the head. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about. That apple gets released because of the weight from the tree branch. And of course, gravity is naturally going to pull it to the ground. And that's what we're talking about. It's, 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 it's an occurrence. It's a universal occurrence. That gravity is obviously going to pull that apple down. It's not going to float away from the tree because that's universal law pulls it down. And that's what we're talking about this actually with intention and with intention with prosperity. Um, same type of thing. It's actually the action of what you're putting into it to get the end result. Okay. So I'm going to read a quote from Maya Angelou and uh, it's also written below this video and it's really a great quote and it's what I've been talking about. So I'm going to look away and I'm going to read from actually our workbook, which is Get the Life You Want Already, which is a really great workbook that Life Creations came out with and that I've been using for the past few videos uh, with All About Intention. And this book, you can actually be able to purchase this book um, on our website and there should be information below for that as well. It's on lifecreations.com. And uh, if you notice on this book, it says health, spirituality, career, and well-being. Because what we believe is that you need to encompass all that, the life coaching, which is uh, going into your behaviors and your reactions, to business coaching and leadership coaching on where you take that in your workplace, in different situations um, with people. And also, we also use this for leadership training as well. So there's so much into this. And uh, when we're talking about intention, what we're doing is we're actually talking about how we're going to churn those wheels, how we're going to create that, because that's our passion to get to our goal so it doesn't peter out. Okay, so let's get back to this. I'm going to read the quote from Maya Angelou. It is, You can only become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off of you. So what she's saying is when you do them so well with the passion of your intention, that's when people notice what's going on. That's what you're putting out there because it's actually coming from you. It's actually coming from you inside. And that's what people are going to be attracted to. Yeah, the other stuff will come, but it will come because you are creating that action to get that reaction like that apple falling from the tree that's the action of the apple actually falling then when it hits Isaac Newton on the head then that's the reaction so 
with money, it's kind of the same thing. Not that you have to be thunked on the head, but that you actually create that action. So, and if people sometimes put money in front of that and just already want to get to the money and get to the prosperity, of course we all want to go there. But at the same time, the learning and the developing of your intention of whatever that is for you is all about that. It's all about the learning. It's all about the action. It's all about what you're putting in there. It's amazing. It's amazing. So what I would like for everyone to do, because I just wrote the, read the quote in this book, is to really take that in, as I said in a previous video, and think about that. And then I'm going to read another uh, paragraph in the book because it's really well stated. So the paragraph in the book is, if you think it's difficult to make money, you may be sending out a message or connecting with people or events that are hindering your financial aspirations. We create what we think and what we think sends out a vibration to attract like-minded opportunities. So when we send out what we're thinking, we're actually sending out a message, be it negative or be it positive. It's that strong because it's universal law. It's, it's again, another way of communicating. So, you, so when you're thinking about what you want to do, even if you get frustrated within the intentions, remember, you need to shift a little bit to be able to bring in more of a positive because what you attract out is going to attract back. Okay, here's, a, here's another paragraph from the workbook. So in order for your financial habits to take on a new form, you must use your emotions and thoughts to empower you and produce long-lasting changes in terms of money. So your financial habits, what are your financial habits? How is that going to enhamper your success with your intention? Or how is it going to bring it closer to the prosperity of your intention? Okay, one more paragraph. Additionally, you must understand that money is all about energy and in order for energy to expand, it must be circulated. Your finances cannot progress unless you let your money flow. Allow your money to expand and synergize and your finances grow and evolve. Meaning, instead of hoarding the money, instead of um, keeping even your idea of your intention to yourself, what it's really saying is universal law is universal law. It travels all over. So, um, meaning that if you condense, it might be... It may not be able to get it out there, but if you expand it and have some ease with it, then you're able to get your message out there universal wise and things are going to come back to you. Um, and I don't want you to get carried away like, okay, now I can spend all this money. It's really the action, just a little bit at, at a time to be able to release something so it can come back to you and it can come back to you fourfold depending upon what your intention is be it financial be it prosperity prosperity can also mean the fullness the wholeness what you get back so if it's not exactly your intention for money and it's more for self-fulfillment then there's that too and to me that's great prosperity as well okay so I love to give homework. So what I would like to do is just have you guys be aware of one, how you're spending your money. You can even do a little log and how much money flows out and how much money comes back in and situations where um, you have flown, you, you have spent money and somehow it's magically come back to you. Be aware of that too. Um, and just really 
once again, be aware of the intentions and where the intention is going and are people noticing your intention or even want to participate in that and keep you going so you can get to your financial prosperity goal. Okay, so with that, just keep a journal with you or a little note and you can just jot down situations of what's going on this week while you're working with money. Okay. Well, I hope everybody has a great week. I'll talk to you next Thursday. These videos are live and fresh, so I'll see everyone next Thursday. Please write your comments down below. You can also email me and there's a bunch of links and I will respond back. Everybody's been wonderful for putting in their input, so I'd love to hear some more. Okay, so with Aloha, have a great week. Think about your intention and think about the prosperity with what we call now universal law. What it's like a ball, what you throw up in the air has to come back down with gravity. So what you put out there has to follow, okay? With aloha, everyone. See you next week.